Hi everyone, Ron Kreider reporting for duty August the 22nd, Saturday, day 159. This is a stay safe at home day and I'm reporting from Vero Beach at my condo at Victoria. Where else? In Indian River Shores. Uh, first, good news, really good news today. Uh, let's talk first about the numbers. I'll give you the numbers for the state of Florida a little later on in the video. I'll show you all the rest of them for the counties. But uh, we had 105 new deaths in the past 24 hours. That's not good news. But it's good news that they have come down from 116 yesterday. And the uh, further good news is we had 4,311 positives, and that's down from 4,684 yesterday. But the really best news of all, check this out. Our uh, seven-day uh, moving average for the deaths in the state of Florida was 131.14. Friday, it was 143.57. On Thursday, it was 159.71. Wednesday, 163, and Tuesday, 169.86. So we have come from 169.86 to 131.14 in seven days. That's a good thing. So that was at 1130 today on Saturday, the 22nd of August. All right, folks, so uh, that makes me feel a little bit good. Florida has been on a positive trend this week, reporting seven days of fewer than 5,000 new COVID cases daily. The positivity rate, which represents the number of people tested positive for the first time compared to the overall number of tests reported by the Department of Health for the day prior, was 4.89 on Saturday. That's a good number. Saturday's positivity rate was the lowest since August the 8th. That wasn't a long time ago, but nonetheless, it was low. And we're looking at averages now a little bit more than actual numbers. And here in Vero Beach, uh, in case you are thinking about going back to school, I'm not thinking about doing that. Uh, the county will start Monday, August the 24th, with students taking part in both in-classroom and virtual learning. So that on Monday, the kids will be attending school either from their home or in their classroom. I don't know if you've noticed this or not. I certainly did because I pay a lot of attention to the stock market. Stock market closed on Friday about 27,930. The all-time high for the market was 29,424 on February the 13th. March the 23rd, it had fallen to 18,591. Let's call it 18,591 on March the 23rd from 29,424. Five months, look what we've done. In five months, we've come back. So you're going to hear a lot of uh, people talking. Uh, the Biden people are saying, see, see, they think I'm going to get elected, and that's why the market's going up. It's all because of me. I'm Biden, and I'm going to. And President Trump's saying, hey, look who's in charge. It's because of me, and it's going to stay up there, and I'm the guy that brought it back, and Obama didn't do it this time. I did it this time. So we're going to be hearing a lot of that. And you guess what? We got all this time. We got like 100 days, 90 days or something before the election, and they're going to nail us something fierce. You can't watch even Hallmark and not get bombarded a little bit about some of this stuff. And then there's this kind of strange story about a Navy SEAL. This is the guy who killed bin Laden. I think his name's O'Neill. Uh, the story is that he is may be banned from flying on Delta Airlines, and the reason being is he allegedly refused to wear his mask. That may be so. However, I saw his story, I read his article, I saw his blogs and all that sort of thing. He says, sort of he says, well, the thing was, I was eating, and I can't eat with my mask on. So I don't really know. And I, he didn't sound so much like, I mean, he said, well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to interfere with anyone's lives. And if they want me to wear a mask, I'll wear a mask. But it sounded a little bit like he was somewhat protesting. Now, not protesting because we don't expect him to eat when he has his mask on. But he didn't sound totally conciliatory, if that's a good word to use. So it's really strange. Pretty high-profile guy to be in some sort of a dust-up. Now, what he did do is he took a selfie on a Delta plane without the mask on, but he said, this is when I was eating, right? There's the flight attendant right behind me. 
didn't say stewardess. Notice, didn't say stewardess. I'm pretty in tune with stuff like that. Anyway, she was right behind him, and he said, I, she had just given me some things to eat, and I was eating, and I snapped a selfie, and bang, two New York, two New York newspapers, the Post, and I think the New York Times, uh, published it, and then Delta says, all right, that's it. We're going to let, let this guy fly. I don't really know the real story. I'm just telling you everything I know so far. So, you know, there is three sides to every story. So sooner or later, we may hear uh, exactly what happened. But he's a high-profile guy. So I don't know whether they're picking on him because he is a high-profile guy or, in fact, he does have a little of this business about I'm not going to wear a mask. There's certainly plenty of people around that don't want to wear masks. Don't forget, I'm doing these moving averages now, and this seems to be pretty good. Everybody seems to like them. Uh, shout-outs today. We'll do the same shout-outs as I did yesterday because uh, Helen Mason, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Helen, forget it, Helen. Sorry about that. Heather Mason Wood, thank you again. Helen, uh, there's another Helen who is also a, a frequent watcher as well, and I put you guys together. But Heather is my, 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 my favorite name, Heather. I like Heather a lot. And uh, Jeannie and John Kennedy, and they are faithful, longtime viewers from up there in uh, up there in Long Island, and then they're down here in Florida. They're back and forth all the time. So don't go thinking about robbing their house because they may be there right now. So I, I never like to say where somebody is because then that's not a good thing because then they might not be where they people think they are. Anyway, I'm pretty careful about that. Barbie, uh, Barbie Chandler, George Ed, and all the buddies who watch this, thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. It's very important. And like I say, numbers came in pretty early today, but I got kind of busy doing a few other things here. I do say every day, please don't forget to push the like button. Thank you very much. Do that. Please don't forget to be a non-COVIDian. Don't be a COVIDian. We don't want you to be not social distancing and not wearing a mask. Like I say, there is no cure at the moment. You know that. Uh, but we know one thing. If you social distance and you wear a mask, the chances are better that you may not get COVID-19. So then why not do it? I don't get it. So please do it. Don't be a covid idiot. okay? Here's the weather report for the Treasure Coast today. Sun and clouds mixed. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible today. High 89 degrees. Winds are east-southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And the uh, chance of rain today is 20%. This is Saturday. Then tonight, we have uh, scattered thunderstorms during the evening, partly cloudy skies after midnight, low 76, winds east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of rain today is about 20%. I should say the chance of rain tonight is about 40%. Chance of rain today is 20%. Put the numbers at the wrong place. Sorry about that. I didn't write this thing. All right. And then partly cloudy early. This is on Sunday morning now. Partly cloudy early. Scattered thunderstorms developing in the afternoon on Sunday. High 89 degrees. Winds are east, southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Chance of rain about 40%. And I'm sure you saw that uh, Hurricane Laura or Tropical Storm Laura is not going to have any effect on us here. So she's out of our sights or we're out of her sights. She's probably going to head through the Keys on Monday and then sort of go up, skirt the west coast of Florida and head up towards the uh, panhandle in that area. So we don't have anything to worry about with her. And there's uh, another one out there, I believe, Marco, and he doesn't seem to be a threat at the moment either. So there you go. That's what uh, we know about the weather today. And it looks like we're going to move into the numbers right now for the entire state of Florida. And I'll give you the county numbers coming up right now. Back in a flash. Alrighty, folks, as you hear me say every day, back in a flash, here are the numbers for Saturday, the 22nd of August. Good news all around. First, let's take a look at the number of deaths reported for the entire state of Florida, 105 versus 116 yesterday. As I keep telling you every time I report this, the most number we had at any one time was 276, and that was August the 11th. Now, let's take a look at positives. New positives for today in the past 24 hours, 4,311. Yesterday, there were 4,684. Most we ever had in any one day was 15,300 on July the 12th. So that's how it looks for the entire state of Florida. Breaking it down now with Dade County first, 19 new deaths to report in the past 24 hours, 909 new positives. 
In Broward County, that's Fort Lauderdale, 20 new deaths to report and 349 new positives. In Palm Beach County, that would be 11 new deaths to report and 230 new positives. In Palm Beach County, 11 new deaths to report and 230 new positives. In Orange County, that's Orlando, two new deaths to report and 217 new positives. In Brevard County, that's the Melbourne area, one new death to report and 92 new positives. In St. Lucie County, that's Fort Pierce, two new deaths to report and 40 new positives. In Martin County, that would be Stewart, no new deaths to report in the past 24 hours and 21 new positives. Now let's take a look at Indian River County. That's where we are here in Vero Beach. Six new deaths to report in the past 24 hours and 15 new positives. There were no new positives in zip code 32960 or 32963. Now let me give you the really good news because there is really good news here. Here we go. These are the moving averages for the total number of deaths for the entire state of Florida. Make sure I get that out this time. I had you very confused there for a couple of days. These are the total number of deaths for the past 24 for the past 7 days. This is the moving average for the past 7 days. And today's number is 131.14. Friday it was 143.57. Thursday it was 159.71. Wednesday, 163, and Tuesday is 169.86. Now, as you can see, we're clearly on a downward trend. Down, in this case, means good. The lower this number is, this 131.14, the lower that number is, the better off we are. And we like to see these numbers coming down just like they are. I certainly hope they continue to do so. But this is the good news for today for the entire state of Florida. Alrighty, folks, here are the numbers looking at it from a global standpoint. The USA cases, 5,633,879. The USA deaths, 175,588. Total global cases, 23,009,629. And then the total global deaths, 800,556. That's the global view here with our numbers today for Saturday, August the 22nd. Well, folks, I don't have anything to report here at the end of this uh, video today on my numbers. I have no pets for the Pet Patrol. I, I pro I'll probably have some pets tomorrow, though. I'll find some pets. I'll go, go find some pets out there on the street. So don't forget to send me some pictures of your pets because I'd like to put them up. And absolutely no snakes. And I'm, I'm still getting people sending me pictures of their pet snakes. The only good snake is a dead snake, as far as I'm concerned. I know, PETA guys, I'm so sorry. I don't mean to put your snakes down. I just don't like them around me. I don't want any part of them. And New Zealand has no snakes. To the best of my knowledge, there are absolutely no snakes in New Zealand. And another good thing about traveling out into Colorado, I don't know if you knew this or not, but if you go up uh, to the uh, uh, higher part of the, in the mountains, uh, the Rocky Mountains and so forth, there are no snakes. The higher up you go, the less snakes you run into. You get up to 10,000 feet. No snakes up there. They don't want to be up there. First, they, don't, they haven't lost anything up there. They don't want to hang out at 10,000 feet, for heaven's sakes. And it's too cold up there for them anyway. But you don't expect to see snakes up there. And also, don't forget, push the like button. <laughs> Please push the like button. If I don't remind you, you don't do it, and then I don't get that like. And I hope you have a very, very blessed Saturday. It's a beautiful day here in Florida today, and I expect it to be kind of beautiful tomorrow as well. It's always a great day, no matter what it is, but I hope you have a really fabulous day today. See you again tomorrow.